Yo, what's up people? Today we're going to make a jungle tune with the Roland S760 sampler. I've got a bunch of other Roland rack synths here to sample. The MKS50, the JD990 and the D550. So if you're following along at home, I'll give you a moment now to plug all of that in and boot it up. And make sure that you're wearing loose fitting clothing and that you've got all your certificates in order. We've got a, an Amiga 1000 computer here running Octomed. And we've got a crate full of brakes. And the first thing you're going to want to do is pour yourself a nice cup of tea. So we'll switch over now to the S760 and I'll have to stuff around disconnecting my trackball from the Amiga and plugging it into the S760. Let me tell you this gets old very quickly. I definitely need a KVM switcher if this was my regular setup. And this S760 has loads of RAM so we're just going to sample a whole bunch of drum brakes. Normally one of the benefits of using old samplers is the RAM limitations force you to be decisive about what to sample, but not today. So I'm not entirely sure what Bobby Bird is doing here, but he definitely wants your help. So we get a nice waveform display there, and we just got to trim the sample start point, and we'll have to do this for all of the samples, and also for all of the edits where we want the samples to start on the kick or the snare or somewhere in between to make that jungle edit sound. And I've never heard this next one used in a jungle track before. This could be a first. Amen Brother by the Winstons. got the PG300 here, the programmer for the MKS50 and Alpha Juno, and we can use this to make some hoover noises and maybe some bass sounds. And get that pitch envelope happening. the high pass filter on. Hang on. Now some strings from the JD990. And also some pads from the D550. We'll definitely need a synth bird sound. And some mild anxiety. And lastly let's have a long sub bass kick straight from the source. I've now made edits to all of the start points of the drum samples and used this page to assign them to keys up and down the keyboard. The other thing you've got to do for each loop is uh, adjust its pitch so that it plays back at the right speed and matches the tempo of your song. In Octomed, the computer keys act as keys on the piano keyboard. And we can sequence our samples by typing the notes into these vertical lists or tracks for playback. Uh, that was a bit unco, but we can make edits to fix our mistakes. Let's change instruments now to one of those pad sounds we sampled earlier.
Now let's switch over to that 808 boom and make a bass line. Keys on the top row of the numeric keypad are a handy way to mute and unmute tracks. Let's transpose that pad sound down by an octave. The S760 has some rather handy filters, and I'll show you what they sound like here on this pad sound, and then later on I'll use them on a stab noise that I recorded off the MKS-50. I've sampled some sound effects and some vocals, and then I've routed sounds out of the sampler through some guitar pedals and made it into a bit of a track. Take me. 